So what's different between on-prem Active Directory and Azure Active Directory? Let's say this way, um, there's little that they have in common. On-prem Active Directory uses a totally different protocol to actually authenticate users, grant permissions to resources. We've all got to love the Kerberos protocol at the time that Active Directory was mainly deployed on-prem. In Azure Active Directory, we're talking cloud services. So this is all about OAuth, OpenID, and um, other protocols to actually access uh, resources. And of course, uh, that access also needs to be protected differently. And I think that is the key thing that uh, people need to understand. Let's assume that you've got your on-prem AD under control. Security-wise, everything is locked down and secure. Don't believe that that is exactly the same for Azure AD. Azure AD is a completely new ball game. You will need to learn from scratch and protect that as well. Many of the indicators that we are looking for to validate compromise or indicators of exposure in your on-prem Active Directory evolve about Kerberos uh, weaknesses, Kerberos uh, constraint delegation, uh, SPN service printable names being Kerber roasted, etc. Kerberos doesn't play any role in Azure AD. In Azure AD, it's different protocols, but also different risks. We need to understand the delegation model of Azure AD. What groups are you putting your users in? What roles are you assigning to your users that manage Azure Active Directory? Are you potentially granting them way too many permissions by adding them to a group that you think is granting the permissions they need to do their job, or is it too much? Those and many other similar indicators are what we need to look at when we validate security in Azure Active Directory.